This is Dave from Dave's Recent Things, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple bow in less than five minutes. I am using a two and a half inch wire ribbon, going to use some scissors and a pipe cleaner. That's all I'm going to use today. <laughs> nice and simple, right? <laughs> Why don't we get started and I'll show you how to make that bow. I have this two and a half inch wire ribbon. It's a beautiful pattern that I got from Michaels. And the first thing that I usually do is I unravel it from the cardboard spool. It's something that I do. I find it's easy. You don't have to do this. You can keep it attached if you want. But for me, this is nice and easy. I can flip it over and work with it a lot easier if it's just rolled up like this. So that's usually the first step that I do in making my bow. The second step is I actually cut off a piece for the tail right at the beginning. So when I'm making my bow, I don't get it all together and forget about the tail. <laughs> so I cut off a little piece and then I just put it off to the side. And normally with ribbon, you have one good side and one bad side. With this ribbon, both sides are good. So I don't really have to worry about what's the good side and what's the bad side. But stick around to the end and I'll show you how to do one with a good side and a bad side. First, all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little small loop with the ribbon facing down. And then I'm going to create another small loop and fold that over. So it's overlapping the first loops we created. Then I'm going to take a finger length longer than the below loop and I'm just going to fold it over. And again, I do the same thing for the other side, about a finger length longer than the last loop. And I just do that over and over again, right until the very end. So again, don't forget, this is with two good side of a ribbon. And I'll show you after this one how to do a ribbon, or a bow I should say, with a ribbon that has one good side and one bad side. So I usually just take my time with this, as you can see, and I just fold it over and fold it over. Once that's all done, I'm just gonna grab the center, squish it in, place it between my two fingers, then I'm gonna grab a pipe cleaner right in the center, fold it over a little bit, and then I'm gonna twist that pipe cleaner nice and tight and give it a couple of really good twists because you don't want that bow unraveling on you. And there you go, we have the start to our bow. And our little tail piece that I've already dovetailed, I fold it in half and then I just add it to that pipe cleaner and give it a couple of really good twists. And with this, you don't want to cut that excess off so you can use that to wrap around whatever you need to wrap it around. And once you've done that, you just unravel every single loop and get it a little bit puffy and you just spread them all out and you just really fiddle around with it until you like the way it looks. I just kind of push it out, open it up, push it out, open it up. You know, I just basically I fiddle around with it. <laughs> but really, there you go. That's all that there is to making a really simple, really nice bow. And here we are with our ribbon with one good side and one faded side. For this, I'm going to have the good side facing down all the time. Then I'm going to first create a little loop, just like we did in the beginning, and then I'm going to create another little loop on the other side. That's going to be the smallest loops of our bow. And again, I am going to do that little finger trick measuring. But first, we want the good side down, so I'm going to squish in the center, give it a twist, and then make sure that good side is facing down. Then, with my finger, I'm going to flip it over, squish it in the center, and then give it another good twist so that good side is always facing down. For me, when I do my bows, I do this all the time, face down, Facing the table is the good side, such that I always remember. 
So again, that finger length, just longer than the last bow. Flip it over, squishing that center and twisting. So every time you come to the center, you want to squish and twist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new dance. Squish and twist, squish and twist. <laughs> but there you go. You just do the same method over and over again, making sure that good side is facing down until you've come to the end of your ribbon. And when you come to the end, you just fold it to the center, squish it all together, put it between your fingers, grab that pipe cleaner, bend it at the center, fold, and give it some really good twist because you don't want that bow going anywhere. You've already made this beautiful bow. So here is my little tail portion. And I cut it on an angle with the good side facing out. And that's going to give you that beautiful dovetail. So fold it with the good side facing out and then cut it on an angle. Squish that tail and bend it just to shape it a little bit and add that twist to it. So it's not going to go anywhere. And again, we just find our loops, open them up, spread them out until you're happy with the outcome. And I have to say, I love this ribbon and how this bow turned out. There you go, a quick, simple bow in five minutes. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and leave me a like. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.